This book is called An Orange in January. It was written by Diana Hutz Aston, and it was illustrated by Julie Marin. It tells a story, but it's also full of facts. So it's part fiction, part nonfiction. Diana Hutz Aston used to be a journalist, and now she works creating books for young readers. She lives part time in San Miguel de Allende in Mexico, and also lives in Central Texas. Julie Marin um, studied at the University of Colorado Artist, and now she's a professional painter and sculptor with work all over North America. She lives in Boulder, Colorado. In a land that glowed with spring light, an orange blossomed. Bees bzz, feasted on nectar, sweet as honey, until the petals fell away and the orange began to grow into what it was meant to be. It grew slowly and steadily, fed by the earth's soil and the ocean's breath. Soaked with rain and drenched in sunshine, the orange grew plump and bright until a hand, brown with seasons of sun, plucked it from its branch, while dew still glittered on the leaves. Its days of growing were over, but there was life in it yet, and it still had far to go. From bag to basket, truck to truck, it followed the skyway over mountains, across deserts and plains, until the orange arrived at a grocery store. There it rested, a glow with the goodness inside. Two hands, soft and small, took it from the pile and called it the best one of all. Carrying it home, the child felt its roundness and imagined himself a juggler, <laughs> a pitcher, a fortune teller who could see tomorrow. That night, as ice gleamed on the branches, he dreamed of a land that shone in summer light. When morning came, the orange reached the end of its journey, bursting with the seasons inside it. And two hands, pink with cold, <laughs> shared its segments so that everyone could taste the sweetness of an orange in January. This style book for young readers was dedicated by the author, Diana Hutz Assen, to her friend, Christy Stallop, with love and gratitude. The artist, Julie Marin, dedicated this book to her precious nephew, Shepard. Welcome to the world, said Julie. This is a blank map of the United States, although there are two letters for every state. This colored in state in the Midwest, in the North, is the two peninsulas of Michigan. It is too cold to grow oranges here in Michigan. So where do the oranges grow? that we eat in the United States. Here are the places. This state right here is California. That's the number one place in America for growing oranges. This state, Florida, all the way across the country on the Atlantic Ocean, is the number two place for growing oranges. There are a lot of oranges in California and a lot of oranges in Florida. This is our second biggest state after Alaska. 
and it is the number three place in America for growing oranges. There are a lot of oranges that are grown in Texas also. And this is Arizona. It's the number four place in America for growing oranges. So the most are in California, the next most in Florida, the next most in Texas, and the next most in Arizona. And if we want to eat oranges in a place like Michigan, they have to come to us just like the oranges in this story come uh, across the country on trucks or trains. Can you remember where the oranges come from? Can you point to the states? If you used to live in Pensacola, or if you live in Austin, or Lake Havasu, or Huntington Beach, you probably know the answer. This book about oranges, how they grow, how they're picked, how they're shipped, and how they come to our tables, and how they show up in school lunches where children can share them, has been an orange in January. It was written by Diana Hutz Aston, and it was illustrated by Julie Marin.